Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lady and in this channel, for those of you who don't know, you will see reviews, unboxings, and some recipe testing. Because, you know, sometimes they give you recipes and it works out for them, but somehow you do it at home and it does not work out for you. <laughs> but today we're not doing a recipe. What I'm doing is a review on sweet pea candy. Did you see it? Now, I did try some of these candies. Um, this one in particular is the ice cream sundae malt balls. They come in different flavors. It's orange sherbet, pineapple, key lime, and raspberry flavor. They do taste just like the regular malt balls, um, but they taste exactly as the flavoring. So the green one is the key lime one, and it is amazing, you guys. That's the favorite one that I have so far. Um, I tried the raspberry one. It was okay, but it's not my favorite. Key lime is definitely the way to go. So, definitely, these actually taste like ice cream, which was, I was very surprised. So, this is pretty good. Now, the next item that I got from them is the Peach Signature Sea Salt Caramel. These caramels are so good, you guys. Like, I love sea salt caramels, but not everybody knows how to make them. You have to have a great balance between the chewiness and the saltiness and sugariness of it. Um, I tend to like these because they're not too sweet and they're not too salty at the same time, but they are chewy and very soft. You can tell they're really fresh made. So, um... It says, Sweet Peach Famous Sea Salt Caramel is handmade in small batches, sprinkled with salt, cut, and hand wrapped. So, you can tell by the wrapping and everything. Let me take it out. Okay. And no, nothing is the same size. Like, they're not really uniform. They tend to have, like, that handmade um, look to them, which is good. I always like stuff that's more handmade than mass produced. And with the machine, so that's not bad. And then we have the cayenne chocolate. I have not tasted these yet. I wanted to wait to record this to taste it. Um, hopefully, I don't have a bad experience, but just in case, I have my water ready. <laughs> this is dark chocolate beads infused with cayenne oil. So we'll see. This might be a little too spicy for me. And the next item that I got was the Sweet Peas Honeycomb. These are very, very good. I didn't have high hopes for them. I wanted to try honeycomb candy. Um, but I know that I, in the past, when I purchased honeycomb candies from other, um, places, the honeycomb itself is so overpowering. Like, I understand that it's supposed to be a honeycomb candy, but it's super overpowering. So I don't know if it's, the honey itself or the honeycomb itself that makes a difference. This one, you taste the honeycomb of it. Like, you taste it. You taste the honey and, and some of them, you can see the honey in the middle. However, um, it's not overpowering. I don't think that it's so strong. So, let me try one up to let you see what it looks like in the middle. Mm. It's so crunchy. That honeycomb is so good. And that milk chocolate is just right. It's definitely, definitely a good, good match between the two. Yeah, it's milk chocolate. I was just making sure. So it's a honeycomb with sugar, milk chocolate, dry whole milk, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa fat, vanilla, soy lecithin, water, glucose, honey, and baking soda. Pretty simple um, ingredient. Now, when I ordered these, I was a little concerned with the packaging because I've ordered chocolates before during the summer and they don't tend to make them like 
when they get to the house, if it's a 90 degree weather, depending on how they package um, the items, it doesn't really quite make it as though um, it was in the online shopping or like wherever you tend to buy them at. So I was a little concerned, but when I got here, I was so happy that the packaging, they actually took the time to package the items properly. So this is the packaging. Let me show you. It's just a regular box. But inside the box, it has an insulated bag. And within this bag, there are these thick bubble wrapping so as to not damage um, the chocolate. And it also has these ice packs. So when I open this bag, which by the way, is very difficult to open this bag because it's very tightly um, insulated, which is good. So when I opened it, it was still cold, you guys. It did not have melt. The ice did not have melt. Everything was still cold. So I did not have any worries at all with the chocolate. So I really appreciate that Sweet Tea Candy actually takes their time in their packaging because a lot of times they get creative with their chocolates and the creation of the taste and they forget about the packaging and to me you guys the packaging the box itself doesn't have to be pretty when it comes to like chocolate as long as my chocolate comes you know to the house intact and it's not compromised at all because then it affects the taste of it affects how you look at it you know we eat with our eyes, basically, so you want to make sure that everything is properly packaged, and he definitely did it. So, the moment you guys have been waiting for, let's try this. I hopefully I don't die with this. So, let's see. It's a dark chocolate beef infused with cayenne oil. Let's see. Mm. Okay. So I thought it was gonna have like a squirt of cayenne oil. It does not. It does not um have like the oil itself inside, but you get that kick in the back of your throat of it. It's a perfect kick though, it's not that bad. And it says it's made with dark chocolate, the, and it has, yeah, it has um, cayenne pepper and some other items in here. But definitely, these are good. I don't really care for dark chocolate, you guys, but this one is not overpowering. It's not that bitter, like super bitter dark chocolate, which is something that I don't really like too much. Um, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty good. And it's still, it has like a little burn in the back of your throat, but it's not that bad. And I do like spicy food, but I was a little concerned because it said cayenne oil. And I was like, uh oh, maybe it has like a little bit of the oil inside and I'm not going to like it. But these are really, really nice, you guys. It's not bad. Let me see. Let me see if maybe it's. Because I tried one. No. Mm -mm. I mean, you taste the chocolate, the creaminess of it, and then at the end you get that hint of kick of cayenne. So yeah, you guys, if you want to order from Sweet Pea Candy, you can find them at sweetpeascandy.com or you can call them. I believe one of these had a telephone number on them. I think it was the honeycomb. Yeah. It says 855-SWT-PETE. -E. Check them out, you guys. Their um, website is very colorful and very nice. And he has a video about himself and everything. So I hope you guys like this review of sweet peas candy if you want to see more reviews like this thumbs up leave a comment below share with your friends subscribe 
you guys next time.